And welcome back, everybody, to the uh, now second episode of the uh, my new channel, The Outside Corner. And uh, today, yeah, I made mention in my last video about Steven Strasberg. Uh, you know, he was on the brink of being shut down. And he was actually supposed to be shut down tomorrow, uh, September 12th. I think today would have been his last start uh, before they finally decided to shut him down. And uh, but Mike Rizzo decided to uh, shut him down early uh, after his last start. Uh, I forget. I think it was against the Miami Marlins, and uh, he got rocked. And uh, Mike Rizzo he said, "No, nope, that's enough. I'm calling it quits. Uh, season's over for Strasburg." Now I, like I said, I made a hint that I was dead set against this, and here's why. Now, yes, Steven Strasburg is a year removed from Tommy John surgery, but how can you say that sitting this man, taking him away from all baseball-related activities for the rest of the season, is going to save his arm for next year? On every single pitch thrown in the major leagues, it could potentially be a pitcher's last pitch. Uh, being a Tigers fan, obviously. We had a pitcher by the name of Joel Zamaya. And Joel Zamaya, when he first came up in 2006, this guy was a flamethrower. Uh, you know, he was as consistent as they came out of the bullpen, you know. And it wasn't for Justin Verlander. Uh, Joel Zamaya was a legit Rookie of the Year candidate. But after 2006, he started getting injured every single year. Uh, Joel Zamaya has also had Tommy John surgery once. And... Uh, Every single year, he gets hurt. Uh, this past year, he was with the Minnesota Twins. And on his fourth warm-up pitch, on the second day of spring training, he blew out his arm. Now, this is my point. Joel Zemaya had every single one of those surgeries, but still got hurt. Sitting in the offseason, building up arm strength, uh, training, did nothing. He still got hurt. Now, flawed mechanics, yes. Now, Steven Strasburg has this thing in his uh, his delivery called the inverted W. And what an inverted W is, is when Strasburg's back like this with his hand, uh, my hand's over here, and uh, his other arm, he puts his shoulders out like this when he throws, and it creates like an uh, inverted W. And if you don't know, that is uh, a lot of... Pitching coaches uh, around the league do not like when pitchers do that uh, because that's an improper flaw in their mechanics, and it uh, and they say it helps lead to Tommy John surgery. Uh, I remember reading this article on ESPN once about it, and Greg Maddox uh, was looked upon to have the perfect uh, mechanics, and uh, and you can look at Justin Verlander when they throw, they don't do that inverted W thing, but Strasburg does. No, my point all this is even with him sitting down, he's going to miss all the postseason. Even with him sitting down, miss the postseason, he could come back next year, and on his very first pitch in spring training, he could blow out his arm. And what does sitting him down do? Nothing. Not a damn thing. Now, my second reason against it. This is the first year in Nationals history, since coming over in 2004 uh, from being the Montreal Expos, they have had... A playoff berth. Now I know it's a bit premature. The Nats don't have a lockdown, but completely out they haven't clinched. But come on, they got I think the second best record in baseball. They're gonna be in the playoffs. Now the Nationals have the best rotation of the game of baseball. Yes, they don't have one starter with an ERA under uh, over 370, I believe. But you just made your rotation weaker by shutting your ace down. Arguably your best pitcher because Gio Gonzalez has been damn good for them. Uh, he just won. He became the first 19-game winner in the major leagues yesterday. But if you're an opposing team, are you sad that you don't have to see Strasburg game one now? I guarantee you, you're not, because now they gotta go Gio, Jordan Zimmerman, uh, Edwin Jackson, and uh, I doubt John Lannon's their fourth starter. Uh, I forget who the first starter is, but uh, now you just make you hurt your rotation a little bit. You know you don't have Strasburg out on the bump on the first game, and the the guy's stuff is electric. He's made to be a big game pitcher. I mean, you got a fastball goes over triple digits. His changeup alone goes 90 miles an hour. That's how friggin' hard he throws, and it just darts. He's got a great slider. His curveball is 
equally as good as Justin Verlanders, who I look upon as having one of the best curveballs in the game. And you just took your best pitcher out of your rotation. And you're going into the playoffs. And not only that, he's a fan favorite. He puts asses in the seats at Nationals Ballpark. And uh, Nationals Ballpark, you know, they've had a bit of a hard time drawing attendance over the past few years. You know, that's why they had that whole Natitude campaign this year. You know, to get more fans excited about the team, the franchise. You know, they wouldn't allow Philly fans in their stadium because they're sick of being overrun by opposing NL East fan bases in their own park. But, you know, they've drawn crowds this year. But now you're, you're taking away Steven Strasburg, you know, and they're going to be sold out for the playoffs. Yes, that's not such a big thing. But you hurt your rotation. Not having him in there, even though you do have a pretty good staff, you know, sitting him down doesn't do anything from helping him further prevent ever blowing out his arm again. So I just don't see the point. In this and Davey Johnson, their manager of the the Nationals, he doesn't even know why Strasburg was shut down. Steven Strasburg has come out to the media and he is just fuming mad about it because you know when you're a kid what is your dream to do when you put all those hours time in the gym pitching your dream is to play in the major leagues you know at a high level in the playoffs for a chance competing for the world series you look at the nationals lineup they're they're a good lineup you know bryce harper's been an absolute monster this month ryan zimmerman he's a good player ian desmond's having an outstanding year michael morris is good you know jason worth has been uh hasn't been extremely good this year, but, you know, he can come up with timely hits. They've been a really, really good ball club. Kurt Suzuki has been their, you know, their best pickup off the trade uh, waiver wire this year. You know, he's already got three home runs and comes up with big hits for that team. Uh, you know, their, their bullpen has been a little uh, iffy the last couple of weeks. I saw a couple of games, you know, uh, they blew a couple uh, leads. Uh, like Strasburg's last really good start, he uh, went six or seven innings, no one runs, and then they uh, gave up the lead. They ended up winning and had a walk off, but but for the sake of not having a, a novel of a video, you know, I just Strasburg. He's pissed. He got shut down. He said he could still pitch more, which I believe he could because he's not even at 160 innings. You look at guys like you know Verlander and Sabathia and Roy Holiday, typical innings eater workhorses, you know, they're well over 200 innings, and they're going to get to, you know, typical in a normal year, 240 innings, so 159 isn't really much, um, and, uh, so there's plenty left in the tank, you know, David Johnson doesn't know why he shut down, you know, uh, like I said, it doesn't help him in the, in f the future for never blowing out his arm again, so on the, you know, maybe the Nationals are telling us something we, uh, the uh, fans of baseball don't know, you know, behind the scenes. So, like I said, I'm dead set against this. I thought it was a really bad move on the Nationals' part. You know, who says they're going to be good next year? You know, the Phillies, they they just need to reload a little bit, and they could be good. They still got a really good rotation. They could be good for next year. The Braves aren't going anywhere. They have an, an abundance of young pitching, and, and their team is rather young, you know. So, and maybe the Miami Marlins come back next year, and, uh, you know, they go, hey, we could compete if, if Giancarlo Stanton stays healthy all year. So who knows? You know, this is the national shot to go after it all. And they definitely hurt their chances a bit, um, you know, shutting Strasburg down for the rest of the year and especially the playoffs. Will he come back in the playoffs? I don't know. He, he could, but who knows? So that's all I got for this video. Uh, thank you for subscribing, whoever has subscribed. I know this channel is real small still. But that all comes in timing, uh, building up. So, that's setting against the decision, uh, the decision by Mike Rizzo, and thanks for watching.